There is only one happiness in this life, to love and to be loved. Harry, wow. I'm Laura, nice to meet you. All that people want at the end of the day is somebody to love them, somebody to think about them and, and to be with them. Did you come in here thinking I was going to be an absolute bell -end? Yeah. Love is the sweetest of victory. Life without love is not worth living. Essex girl Shan is Fred's first customer of the day. Hello, how are you? Hello. Good afternoon. I'm Shan. Shan, yes. You're the first to arrive, Shan. Can I take your jacket? Yes, thank you. She's only 26, but she's already thinking of giving up the dating game for good. I hate going on dates. My friends think it's funny, which really annoys me because they're all in relationship. They don't understand. They think all the dates and that, when I've got stories to tell, they just think it's hilarious. I was like, I'd like you to try and be single. It's actually awful. Are you feeling good? I'm scared. You're scared? Do you have any expectations? Yes. Really? What no, I don't no. know. You don't know? I don't know where the gentlemen have gone. They're, I think they're taken. They're all taken. And the ones that are single are the ones that no one wants. Because they're idiots. <laughs> That's what I've got left. It's like being on the bloody special offer shelf. The leftovers. <laughs> I quite like, like the Essex green look. Mm -hmm. Like tan, comb over. Strong. And like Reason. when their ankles poke out from their trousers. Oh, really? I like that. Okay. I don't want them to be an absolute arsehole. <laughs> Well, you're clear with your standards to start with, anyway. Well, I've gone on nights out, not getting anywhere. I've gone on online, not getting anywhere. It's my last resort. Then I'm giving up. <laughs> what would be the best thing that could happen? The best thing would be that he's like my dream man come marching through the doors. Hello, how are you? Hi, mate. How are you doing? You're right. Very good, thank you very much. And uh, I'm Tom. Your name Tom is Tom. Tom. Yes. A blind date is Londoner Tom. I'm not that laddy lad geezer who goes out and gets shit-faced and thinks it's a good idea to piss on his mate's head while he's asleep. I, I think I'm just quite down-to-earth, quite sociable. My disposition is normally happy-chappy, so that normally rubs off on people. You know, they say misery loves company, like, so does happiness, like, completely, 100%. Would you like to please follow me? Hi. Hiya. How you doing? I'm Sean. Tom, nice Hello. to meet you. I'm Jim. You know? Yeah, you? Oh, God, I'm shit myself, are you? Are you actually? Definitely showing the ankles. You look really nice, by the way. Thank you. So do you. However, I'm like, if I was kicked off the top of my jeans, so I'm really panicky. Like, so can you tell me if you're smaller than I'm for God's sake? <laughs> or if you keep seeing me looking down, that is why I'm looking down, because I'm just making sure that... <laughs> Lovely shoes. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good afternoon. Yes, very good. What's your name, please? Laura. Laura. Meet fashion designer Laura. At 29, she's had her fair share of heartbreak. Thanks a million. You're the first? Yes, of course I am, Jesus. Everybody goes through it, you know. You cannot, you have to stop sad songs, you know, like, you're just a bit like, you weigh six stone, you know, you, you can't listen to anything that rhymes with his name. It's just a bit like, but, um, I think yeah, you go through the motions, but everyone's been there. So people are kind of like, it's all right if you're crying in public, don't worry, don't worry. But it's fine. You, every, I think everyone has to go through it and you, you come out of it with like really fresh eyes about yourself. It's so obviously a little nervous. Yeah, I am. When I broke up with my ex-boyfriend, I was kind of like, what am I doing with my life? So I was like, great, I'm hitting London, I'm going to do it. And just started building up my life there. So what were your previous days like then? Obviously not very great if they didn't go anywhere, but just standard kind of London dating. Getting a connection with somebody in London is so hard. Like that spark, like that's somebody you do, you feel like someone's punched you in the stomach. I love it here so much, but it's all career driven. There's not very much time for love, I suppose. But there's loads of time for lust, which is quite nice, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like I've dated people around, it's like, oh, you are lovely, but my God, you're wrapped in seven blankets of bullshit. The task of restoring Laura's faith in men falls to 27-year-old Frankie. Okay. Mm. He thinks he's got better facial hair than me. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Buongiorno. Hello. Hey, yes. Yes. What's your name, please? Uh, Frankie. Ultimately, I think we, we all want to meet someone. I'm looking for a, a, a road to success in that department. Um, the road's under construction, or traffic works at the moment, but, you know, looking to get there eventually. Yes, your data's already arrived, Frankie. OK, fantastic. 
I want her to be intelligent. She's got to be fit. And I'd probably say also keep me on my toes. There you are. Well, hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? You all right? I'm great, thank you. How are well, you? I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. I am fantastic, yes. I'm Frankie. Sorry, you blew me off there. Your beauty. What was your name, sorry? Frankie, are you Irish? I am, yes. Are you Northern or are you Republic? Southern, yeah. Southern. Republic, yeah. That's Republic, yeah. I went to, uh, where did I go? Cork? That's where I'm from. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, down okay. south. No, it's a really nice place, okay. actually, yeah. Fantastic. Lovely, yeah. I have a few friends with this. Brilliant. Um, yes, can I have um, a double vodka and Red Bull, please? Fantastic. Back in my day, um, <laughs> I was a bit of a goer. People do know me. People think I'm a bit of a dick. But such is life. I'm a funny dick. <laughs> first impressions. I think I'm 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 happy. Did you do first impressions already? <laughs> yeah. So on a scale of one to ten. You're not making me do one to ten after like four and a half. No, minutes. just by are you are you are you are you happy by oh my God, the you can't do this <laughs> I'll do that after. Give I'll yourself a chance. I'll tell you what. Give I'll, yourself a chance. I'll rate you then. So no, thank you. No? Um, so it's probably are you ready to come through? We are please. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Interesting. What am I going to have? What would you like to have? Rump steak's like the arse, isn't it? Yeah, rump isn't that nice. And ribeye. What's that? The eyes? <laughs> no, no, no. The ribs? No. Are you a big foodie? I do get, like, really hungry. How are we doing? Oh, my God, I'm not ready. <laughs> like, I am looking, but I, I just said they're just not going in. Nothing's like, happening. I am getting there. You're getting there. Like, a couple more minutes and then I'll be ready. Yeah. No, you take oh, time. God. You stare a little bit longer, yeah? <laughs> um, I'm not having an oyster. No, definitely not. Do you like uh, shellfish? What is that? Shellfish. Oysters. But what's the difference between a fish and a shellfish? Well, one is a, sh one is a <laughs> shell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking... Uh, just that connection, that spark, you know, that feeling when you get, when you go, oh, right, this is something here. Like, there's a little, I don't know, a little sparkle in your belly or whatever. And you just feel, this is going somewhere for sure. Or well, you know it, but it doesn't happen often. And it's rare to find, but it's worth searching for because it's so good when you find it. Like, what sort of guy do you usually go for then? Like, like pure Essex boy. What's a pure Essex boy? Came over. Which you've actually got to go over. <laughs> nice teeth. I've got like a teeth phobia. <laughs> My worst day I've ever been on is he like laughed at something and like all I saw was like pure bits of meat stuck in his teeth. It was awful. And then like I think like he texted me a couple of times after that, but I was just like I couldn't reply because I just kept imagining the meat. <laughs> 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 Frankie and Laura's date is underway, but the conversation's yet to get going. Thank Good luck. You. Thank, Thank you, you very much. <laughs> I'll need it. <laughs> I'm joking. Seconding that. <laughs> do you like fish? Do you like? Do you like? I'm into, do you like I, do, I'm, yeah. I don't have any like, limitations. Yeah. Like, are you vegetarian or anything? Are you? That's nice. That's nice to know. Um... <laughs> I want just somebody honest and warm and just a nice guy. Like I've dated guys who are. Very good looking, but it's the most boring thing you'll ever do. Like, you literally, they do the knife thing at dinner, and they're, check, they're checking that everything's all right. Yeah. Why do you get your eyebrows done so severely? I'm um, se severely? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, pardon. <laughs> I'm not saying they're bad. No, I'm not, not saying they're um, bad. But, but if I was you, yeah. I would relax off on them. Okay. Like, I would say, leave a few strays here and there, don't right. do it at such an angle. Okay. Do you know what I think? Hi, guys, how, how are you? you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. I used to have massive eyebrows. People in my area know me as um, Frankie eyebrows. Threading or waxing? Um, I started on waxing. But well, threading is so much better, isn't it? Yeah, it's more Oh, my God, yeah. I love yeah. it. I imagine you don't have much hair from your jawline down. Um, you strike me as that honest, kind of a guy. Um, Small ring around the nipples. Um, I mean, to be honest, the base. We, will, we won't speak about things like that. My um, women have art, you know, Brazilian and all that. I have art. 
I'm so intrigued, but I'm not going to ask because I'm at the dinner table. Has somebody added that signs or? I got you. Do you know what I mean? Yourself, or do you get this done in this? No, no, just keep it myself. It's just fun in the bar. Do you get a good reaction from that kind of stuff? People probably think this guy's he's into his art. Creative, if, creative. Having done it, having done an art degree, yeah. I'm not sure if I would describe it as art. The shower can be boring at times. You know, once you've once you've scrubbed, what else do you do? What do you think of like the dating scene and everything else? The thing is, like, I know it's like really horrible thing to say, and like, I don't want to be horrible to men. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> to men, <laughs> as a whole. Like, right, okay. All the men that I've seen to meet are absolute assholes. Did you come, did you come in here thinking oh, I was going to be an absolute bellend? Yeah. Am I, no. be am I bellend? No, you don't seem like one, but you might be. <laughs> <laughs> what like what's happened with you? Like what? I just didn't want a girlfriend. Like, I haven't wanted a girlfriend in a long time. Yeah, I've had my heart broken with my first girlfriend. She had to go back to South Africa. And that, that broke my heart, that was, that was rough. Over the last, like, I don't know, six months or so, I've changed, changed my perspective. Like, actually, I want someone to, like, uh, I don't know, share those shitty Sundays if when you're hanging over and just, like, have a spoon, <laughs> you know? I had to watch um, 500 Days of Summer. Have you seen it? Where the guy doesn't get the girl? That's a shit film. <laughs> I'm sitting there, sobbing on a plane. Strangers all around me. It was horrible. <laughs> I've, um, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm, I'm blind in my left eye. That one? Yeah. I did, like, notice your eyeball, but I didn't want to say anything. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. What happened to it? I was born like it. Oh, really? I, I was going to like... create some elaborate story and my dad shot me with, like, an air rifle or something. You haven't got, like, a glass eye? No, <laughs> like... just take it out, pop it in your water. No, don't. <laughs> What, so if you shut that eye, you wouldn't be able to see me? Do you want me to do the blind thing? Yeah. Do you want me to do it? Then you can, like, swear at me or something. <laughs> what can you see? Nothing? Nothing. And it's so... Oh, my God, so you can... Can you actually see one? <laughs> Not a clue. <laughs> yeah. No, like, now? Now? Because you only got, like... Because if I had, like, one eye shut up... Oh, no, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you'd be able to see half of me or something. No, like, no. <laughs> what am I actually saying about it? Stop here. That's awful, isn't it? Funny, though. <laughs> Funny. So, we've got another coming in. This is Joe. He's an investment broker with a licence to thrill. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you doing? You well? Good afternoon, yeah, sure. Joe, nice to meet you. Name? Joe. Joe. As it happens, I do get told I look like James Bond quite a lot. Yes, you're the first of Roger. I'd like to think I'm eligible, but actually, yeah. Uh, I've left more than a few broken hearts, I think, yeah. It sounds so obnoxious, doesn't it? Hey, yeah, this way. Thank you. I was a model on and off for about nine years. <laughs> you want to see my best photos? All right. <laughs> wait, wait, no, it's not that, it's not that. I have to laugh first and then go into the serious pose, all right? <laughs> all right. Drink. Drink cocktails? Right. I'm more of a whiskey man myself. Played the field a bit when I was younger. I put myself out there a little bit, to say the least, um, but only when I was single. Joe's date is here. Personal shopper Nicole from Preston with Love. I'm over the top quite a lot of the time, and just the way I dress, like, I think I'm a film star. How are you doing? Hi. Oh, my God. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole, Hi. Joe. Hi. Nice Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> I've got a separate room for wardrobes. I've got one wardrobe just for coats. How many pairs of shoes? I'm not sure, but I know I've got 18 pairs of boots. Every colour, every length. You're very nice. Thank you. So do you very smart. Nice and tall. How tall are you? I'm 5'11". Oh, yeah. How tall are you? 6'3". I've been proposed to on a tube before. I've been proposed to in a club before. I've been proposed to on Oxford Street before. You want to follow me down the street and just watch what happens. That bloke won't know bar with work when he talks. After he says something, he goes, hmm. <laughs> this is nice. Right. So should we go and sit down? He goes, well, if you want to go sit down, hmm. <laughs> OK. Listen, does it. Can we sit down, or do we just wait? Well, in coffee, yes. Mm. Mm. What do you do? Um, I'm an investment broker. Uh, I've got a client in Palmer that I go and see. Stay on his rather large yacht. What do you do? I'm a stylist. I see. <laughs> what, a yeah. hairstylist or fashion, fashion stylist? Yeah, oh, yeah. I love clothes, yeah. If 
my date was attractive, then I'm going to get flustered and then a bit hot under the collar. Well, you, look, you look very young, got good skin. Thanks. <laughs> These compliments I'm firing at you, eh? Thanks. <laughs> Would I go to Bruges, which is um, in Belgium, just outside of Brussels, sort of thing? Is that Germany? Belgium. Is that Germany? Bel Belgium's no. its own country. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so bad with this. No, it's fine. She's got like a bit about her. She's like, like smart. You can tell there's knowledge there and everything else. Well, I didn't even know that we were in Europe. I thought like we were like UK and you've got UK, Europe and worldwide. When did you find this out? About a year ago. Oh. Sometimes been... Google doesn't help, so I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I just bashed my head on the <laughs> You've got a busy week coming up. Who? Who? <laughs> what? Sam? Who? I do actually quite like him, but I just don't know what he feels about me. Shall we eat them? Jordan. Put a choke on it. <laughs> She's cute. She's sweet. And that's good. She is, I would say, she is my type. Yeah. Can we get them out? Just do it, do it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, guys, here we are. Hi. Is that what's going on here? Do you want to see each other again? You answer it first. <laughs> I'll, I'll answer first, I'll go. That's, that's the man. Yeah, I'd like to see Sean again. It'd be nice. I'd like to see Tom again. I think, like, Tom, he's, like, he understands, like, my sense of humour. It's, like, the best thing ever. We just, like, wet ourselves at everything. And, like, he's got, like, the comb over and the ankles, like, hanging out. <laughs> my dream. <laughs> <laughs> what your type um, of girl is like. No, I don't really have a type. You I don't? Just, Do you just, just go for all different type of girls? Just something that has the je ne sais quoi. On the same? Yeah. I don't really have a type. Yeah. No, I don't have, like... I know they're always, like, taller than me. Yeah. Um, Sick. <laughs> it yeah. depends. Like, some guys make me laugh, some yeah. guys intrigue Sick. me. Sick. Good looking. Am I all right? Compliments are more important to you than communication, aren't they? Uh, no, not at all. Okay, that's fine. I love to communicate. People are a little bit surprised that I went to an all boys private school. Um, when I'm with women, I do like to impress them with, um, you know, a few, a few sophisticated words or some nice idioms. Do you pas français? Oui, je te dis la français pour le bac. Oh. Va va vous. Je suis dans, je suis dans la. Je suis dans une attaque de confusion en ce moment parce que tu es très belle, madame. All my first dates, I'd probably say, have gone brilliantly well. Va te faire un coulé. OK. Um, Do you understand? Yeah. I didn't make you basically told one. me to F-U-C-K <laughs> off. Uh, I am the fucking prize, eh? <laughs> I know you're jesting, don't I'm worry. I'm pulling you. I know you're joking. My leg, if you touch anything else, it'd slap the shit out of you. I was going to say, I'm, I'm pulling your fanny flat. It's like Irish. Like... Irish, oh my god. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm going to actually pretend that I misheard that. Sorry, did I say that? Well, on that note, I'm oh going to the god. toilet. <laughs> Hello. Bonjour. Comment ça se passe? It doesn't look too young for me. No. How old are you? 29. How old is he? 27. It's two years. A man at 27 is completely different to a man at 29. No, there's no difference. Oh, come on. If you want a difference, you've got to go up to 40. Otherwise, there's no difference. Tonight, my friend. <sighs> he seemed to be very taken by you. And you know, you have this uh, very striking grooming. I mean, I'm a girl, though. He can't have striking grooming. Come on. Oh, my God, oh, great. Really? Well, maybe see how it goes. We. Oui. Thank you. Mm. Let's 
chairs weren't comfortable. Do you reckon those brown ones are better? They're so like me, honestly. I start rearranging furniture in restaurants and like the feng shui's all wrong. It's bad, isn't it? Honestly, if the chair's not, I swap them. Seriously, I'm like, moving tables. <laughs> I don't think I'm a nightmare at all. Like, on the outside, I might look like a nightmare, but I'm very organised. I know how to change a tyre. I wouldn't do it myself for obvious no reasons, and I wouldn't want to kneel on the floor, but I could stand behind and give directions on how we change the tyre. I love shopping. Like, it's my favourite thing. Is it? Like, yeah, I go shopping every single day, and even when I'm not working, like, I still go shopping. What do you do at work, then? What's kind of your day-to-day? Like, your -day? <laughs> Well, people come in to see me, they don't know what to buy, so I go shopping with them. You're a personal shopper? Pretty much, yeah. Really? <laughs> Do you know what? I could shop in B&Q. I just love any kind of shopping. I can't, I, I hate going out clothes shopping for myself. Really? Yeah. I'd much rather someone go do it for me. I'll go and do it for you, easy. I attract every kind of man, but I do feel like I've dated more boys than men. I need a man. <laughs> to take control and rein me in. So what are your plans after after dinner? Anything planned? Nothing at all. How about you? Nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> so like if we're, if we're out in club and like you were there dancing your mates. Okay, like I'm, yeah. I'm dancing this way. Yeah, and then I'll just be like... Did that not work though? Are you not all equipment? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's true. laughs> do you go to church or anything? Yeah. Do you? Do you? I do now and then, yeah. But every year I will go to midnight mass with my mum. And my mum's in the choir as well. She sings in the choir then. It's nice to give her a bit of moral support. They're separated, my mum and dad. Oh, okay. my dad's. My dad's remarried, my mum's remarried. Yeah. They separated, like, when I was 10, so eight ago. Yeah. I felt a bit bad for my mum. It's, it's tough for her, and bringing up five children on her own. So close to my family, it's ridiculous. And no, like, I work think with that's my nice, brothers. though. He's my yeah. best friend, and, you know, I'm so close to all of them, and, like, yeah. coming back. Always wanted to provide for my family as well. I'd love to pay my mum's mortgage off, um, so that's something I aspire to. What religion are you? Um, well, Christian, C of E. Oh, I thought you were going to say that. I'm a Catholic. Okay. But I kind of wanted to be Jewish. But no, I'm a Catholic. Yeah, because I saw Mazel Tov. Really? Yeah. What's the chat? Like, if you're really into a girl, what's the kind of chat oh. you give them? But normally, it's, it's these type of ones, you know, the ones in front of me that, um... The what? They've obviously got the attitude, they've got the feistiness, you've got to sort of break it down. You think I've got an attitude? A little bit. <laughs> Go on. What attitude do I have? No, it's just very... You're very cautious of me, I think. You've come in with Kim Kardashian's eyebrows and you expect me not to be cautious. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Dating can be seen like going to war. For some people, sometimes, you know, it feels like they are taking some bullets, but they are not real bullets, it's imaginary bullets. You've got to be prepared to lose, and to lose with integrity, and to just know when to give up and, and when it's time to go home. I'm getting your number later. Wow, you're really that cheeky. <laughs> Have a good day anyway. No, you too. Oh, one other question. Um, so the waitress that was here, yeah. she sing. No. No, she's got a boyfriend now. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think anything's going on here anyway, so... Um, OK. <laughs> whenever you're ready, that your coat will be at the front, all right? OK. Yeah, whenever. I would say a date overall, food is fantastic, yeah. really good man, too. No. You were quite manly. Manly. At times. Manly. Manly. Oh, manly. Don't confuse. Okay. Manly. <laughs> so I'd say like a seven. Yeah. Like, it was a great day, yeah. So. Maybe pushed at some point like No, it was a seven. No, just And you were, you were like hanging on to that, like yeah. seven from the sixth day. But it was good. Okay. Your shoes are something else. They're so cute, aren't they? They're always Zara. Unbelievable. I know, everyone thinks that Giuseppe's an artie, but they're Zara. I think fundamentally, mm. you, you are a nice girl. Mm. Um, you have a lot of preconceptions. I think so, yeah. About men. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, you should just live for the moment and just relax. Relax and be, yeah. be nice and funny. Merci. Bonsoir. I didn't do one. Merci beaucoup. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye. He doesn't remember my name. <laughs> Guaranteed. Never do. Go on, what's my name? You. What's my name? Frankie, obviously. 
your name is it begins lot. with S. Yeah, Siobhan. Yeah. Is that your name? So I'm Siobhan and this is Frankie. Yeah. Well was done. It, was it really? Oh my God, well done. You're so good. Thank you. That's really sweet that you remember it. <laughs> I don't even know. Flora, you fucking. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Enter Tawanda, a devout Christian. She's using her high-powered connections to find love. I do pray to God to find me a man. So I'm just like, God, please, God, please, please, bring someone into my life. God, God is my pimp. So I, honestly, genuinely, I, I really can't go wrong with that. Today I'm praying for a God-fearing, kind-hearted, six foot two and above, fine professional black man who loves me for who I am. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, thank you, how are you? Very good, thank you very much. What's your name, please? Tawanda. Tawanda. I'm looking for, you know, that milk to go in my coffee, you know? That um, butter to go on my bread type of thing. You know, like, completely. Should I take you to the bar for a drink? Yes, please, thank you. And I'm a little bit crazy, so I think I need someone a little bit quiet, you know, that can kind of, like, you know, handle me. Thank you, darling. Hello. <laughs> you excited for today? I'm excited, actually, you know? Yeah. It's exciting, isn't it? It's an exciting moment. Hmm. That's right. That's so good. I don't really approach guys. See, I say in that sense, I'm quite shy. I would just say to my friend, I'd be like, mm, he's fine. Woo, damn. Woo, woo. We were like making noises. That's what me and my friends do. We're like, mm, God, he's fine. <laughs> Here comes Tawanda's blind date. A lover of the larger lady, he believes big is beautiful. Is Marvin? Marvin? Sure. Give me one second. Okay. I've always appreciated um, a woman with a curvaceous figure. Like, that's what appeals to me. Anyone from, like, say, size 14 upwards, uh, you know, like 20, it's about the person, but I, I, I like someone who's curvaceous and, and a genuine, fuller figure person. Hello. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Ooh. Good to share then. Hello. Nice Marvin, nice to meet you. Right, yeah? Ooh, I'm Tawanda. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, cool. Okay. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. You? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. See. So, All right. How old are you? I'm 40. You're really 40? Yeah. You look, not, you look 40 old. Oh, really? 40, there's no way you're 40. I am. Are you really 40? Yeah. You don't look 40 old. I am, yeah, I am. You're not 40, you're lying, are you? I, I, I am. <laughs> you don't look 40 old. Oh, thank old. you, I appreciate that, yeah. I won't ask how old you are, so. Okay. It's not the thing to do, so. Huh? It's not the thing to do. All right, yeah. I'm 25. Are you? Yeah, it's okay. yeah. Do I look older? No, no, no. Don't worry. You're not 40, there's no way you're 40. I'm 25, I've got a degree, drive, got my own house. I mean, look at me, I'm like so independent. I mean, I don't have any kids. I'm just, I'm so like, I mean, priceless, literally. So, what do you do? I run a, a plus size fashion company. So, oh, do you? Yeah, so I do okay. like, um, so I do like um, a range of dresses, like for. Uh, plus size ladies like range like 16 to 26. Oh. So yeah, so, little black dresses and stuff. So that's, well, that's interesting, isn't it? James Bond lookalike Joe is continuing to charm his leading lady. Where did you go away last year? Last year I went with my mum to Morocco. It was really good. Yeah. Do you recommend it? Yeah, definitely. Hot when you went? Really hot. Yeah. But you go well dark, don't you? Yeah. Sound do you like right? some baby? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I put factor six on the first day and I put olive oil and just covered myself in it. So bad. I love being dark. Like, I'm quite light at the minute, but yeah, I should be light. I'm quite light at the minute. I go really dark. Do you? I tell people I'm half Italian, but then I'm not. I think we were the most glamorous couple in there. I think we look like movie stars. Like, we're the hot couple. I'm really surprised. I'm glad I came, definitely. All right, same here. <laughs> oh, she's sweet. She's getting a shot. I leave her alone. Thank you, Shot. It's all right. You know, when Nicole first walked in, obviously a very stunning young lady, and it kind of got me a little jittery. I never really get jittery on dates, but uh, when she came in, it was, you know, it was nice. 
weeks when I first saw him, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, yeah, to calm myself down inside. But yeah, I, yeah, you did a good match. You're making makeup right now. Like, you look yeah. like a Finch Charming, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, if you <laughs>Nelly is a classically trained dancer, a former student of the Royal Ballet School. He had like a nutritionist, is that the word? Nutritionist. Um, and they say to you not to eat carbs after four o'clock. What, what are you meant to eat for dinner? Everyone's really posh and proper. Yeah, I didn't really fit in, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Everyone called me the little chubby one. Hello, how are you? Hiya. Good afternoon. What's your name, please? Nelly. Nelly. Oh, yes, sure. Um, can I take your jacket? Maybe you yeah. want to keep it? I mean, it's not a big jacket. I'll take it off. Thank you. I don't know why they think that. Probably just because I'm blonde and I look like a Barbie a little bit. Thank you very much. Which is naughty, really, isn't it? What sort of person are you looking for tonight? I don't know. Every time I have a boyfriend, I think, yeah, they're the one. And then they're just, they're just not. Like everyone says, you're picking the wrong ones, but how am I meant to know? I should ask him, really, shouldn't I? Like, what did I do wrong? I would have nothing, babe. It wasn't you, it was me. Here to sweep Nelly off her feet is her blind date, Charlie. Yes, can I have your jacket, please? Yeah, sure. I was previously a stockbroker in the city. Um, obviously, doing the long hours and the partying hard. I've always been quite quite confident, and the girls like a little bit of arrogance. Cheers. I think you've got to go for the trophy birds. But now I've started slowly to go more into personality as well. So love ultimately is, is, is the goal. Every hole's a goal. <laughs> no joke. Hiya, how you doing? Hey, are you all right? My name's Charlie. Nelly. What's your name? Nelly. Nelly. It's lovely, lovely to meet you. So my cheeks are really cold. Oh, freezing. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I'm gonna have a. I'll have a wine as well, actually. Yeah. I'm actually gonna shit myself. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, I have a bit. I've had a drink already. Have you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I did. I was like, shall I have a drink? I was like, oh, shall I not? How I many do you have? I had one. A little bit. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had one. I like that chase at the start. That's the first bit I really like. Is that that chase? That's what. That's a turn on for me. So how long have you been working then? Should you go uni or anything or just go straight into work? I used to be a ballet dancer. Did you? Yeah. I used to dance. Is that like... me actually? What? Ballet dancer. You used to ballet. No, I didn't. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be like a David Wallings impersonator, but my eyes got too squinty. And they looked they were in proper it's squinty now. <laughs> That's key, you know, that that first physical attraction is is definitely top of the list. Blonde or brunette? Blonde. <laughs> Boobs or bum? Boobs. High heels, flats. High heels. No, so ballet. Um, I used to ballet since I was 16, 18, like professionally. Yeah. And I got hip injury. So then fuck that off. And then just went into like normal work. So yeah, I was going to be a ballerina all my life, and then I just couldn't. All the actual work, like hip impingement or something, because obviously ballet is all about turnout. So if you can't do that, you can't really do anything, to be honest. Yeah, it sucked just sitting out, watching them, because you couldn't dance all the time. And then eventually you just can't do it anymore. So then what do, what do you do with your life? You go out and party and find boyfriends and then they're not very nice. So you're literally just like, what do I do now? What do I do with my life? How long have you been single? A long time. Three years, I reckon. Have you? Yeah. Why? Go on, tell me. I don't know, just don't really... You must know a little bit. OK, I'm really picky. 100%, that's, that's one thing, I'm really picky. I haven't had like a proper solid year relationship ever. What is wrong with you? There must be something wrong with you. Maybe it's the nervous tension, but Tawanda and Marvin are absolutely starving. I'm so hungry. Like, I'm on this diet and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> My stomach goes small and I don't really want to eat any food and stuff, but it's just not working out the other way I thought it would. Mm. It's not crazy, you, you, you're fine as you are, so right. right. Yeah, I know I'm hot, you know, yeah, I need exactly, to be hotter. Exactly. I mean, I need to be a lot hotter, <laughs> 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 completely. Uh. <laughs> I 
think I'm looking for the one. Um, I'm not saying I'm looking for a husband and I'm looking to get married and have kids because obviously it's, that'd be like psycho. But I'm just looking for someone that I can have a good time with, someone that I can travel with, someone that I can laugh with. Okay. Someone that I can be friends with and then also have a relationship with and then hopefully that relationship will lead to something. Have you got like any like phobias and stuff? Stuff that you're scared of? Like I've got a phobia of dreadlocks. Okay. Like, it's like a deep food, yeah, like, literally. <laughs> what, then they come alive and eat you or something? No, like, it, just, it makes me shiver. Oh, man. It makes me shiver inside. I'm just oh. like, no, please. Oh. <laughs> please. Oh. <laughs> but no dreadlocks, there's no way. People are loving this dread thing. Have you seen all the celebrities have all got dreads now? Like, the extensions, dreads, like, everyone's doing it. Would you go dreads? No. Oh, man. Yeah, when was the last time you had a date then? Go on, yesterday and the day before. Uh, three weeks ago. Is it? Yeah. How'd it go? I it went all right. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are ridiculous, by the way. You're so nice. Oh, thanks. That's that like you changed the subject. Yeah, it was that you changed subject. <laughs> when it comes down to it, if I like someone quite gen, I wasn't the kindest person when I was younger to a girl and then tried to pursue a few years later and it, it, it was a bit of a rejection and no. So uh, I did learn my lesson about that. There's, there's no excuses, really. You know, you know how you want your daughter or sister treated. But your teeth are ridiculous. My teeth? Good, like, good teeth. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you There isn't many times, actually, you could say that I've been in love or anything, but, yeah, it is, it is quite important. I think it's key as well in, in general life. You know, you can get your work and everything right, but if you haven't got that, that extra love with someone, then it, it, life isn't really complete. Hello? It's from, um, what's it called? Do you know, oh, Ascot. Oh, I don't really know. Do you know, you just don't know. Are you quite indecisive? Yeah. No, I'm not, actually. Oh, my God! <laughs> I had a wine, had two wines, had three wines. <laughs> oh, no. OK, I'm on the wall from now on. Oh, shit, the bed. Right, I'm going to go anyway. So what are like, your plans for like, the next five years? Next five years? Ooh, that's a big question. Um, uh, I'd like to be uh, settled down with a family, uh, have my business uh, growing, share my life with something really, so that's what I'm looking for. So, yeah. That's good. What about yourself? Mm -hmm. um, really, when I walked through the door, I just thought, OK, mm, you talk, you know. I thought, OK, you look nice, like you're kind of fine. Like, mm, mm, mm. You know, I thought, mm. that's what I thought. <laughs> when you get to my age, I think it, it gets, uh, the window starts to shrink down, so we'll see what happens, so. Yeah, but, yeah I mean. understand that, yeah. I know you mean. Yeah, but you've got loads of time left, so. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to get to the toilet, I'm going back here. Yeah, well, absolutely. I think yeah, she's a she's a good character. So I think you know she's um, definitely confident and uh, outgoing, and and she was, yeah, she's coming across as a lovely person and um, quite friendly. So yeah, we had a, we had a good time. Hi, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> did you know? Really, did you miss me? Be like Jesse. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I was just expecting you to say that. That's all. I think you're. I think you're good looking, but I wouldn't say there's like I fancy. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just think we just want uh, different things out of life at the moment. So. Yeah. yeah. Probably, if we were near the same age, we'd probably mm. have. Yeah. Our thoughts would mesh. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. More. I totally Our thoughts would that. mesh. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Thank you. What a gentleman. I ask God all the time to send me like a guy that's six foot two and above, you know, fine, tall, dark, handsome, God fearing, kind hearted. Oh, God. <laughs> is that him? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's falling, I know it's falling. <laughs> he's just waiting for me. I don't know where he is, but you know, he's waiting for me and I'm waiting for him. <laughs> Thank you. Right, nice to meet you. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Safe journey home.
So dear Lord, we just hope and pray today that me and Marvin find the, the love of our lives and the people that we're looking for in order to expand our minds, hearts and souls. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, honey. Mm-hmm. Really me, it looks good. Thanks. You like my quiff? Yeah, I was going to say that it's wicked actually. You don't see that often. It's decent. <laughs> Some people go too much on those. Yeah. It's alright though. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go to Luna. Yeah. How's it going anyway? It's alright. He, he seems nice. Though, yeah, he just seems right. Is he your type? Do you know you just don't know? You probably seem to be getting on though, really, mate. Yeah, no. Seems right. Really chatting. Nice. There don't seem to be any like awkward silences. No, 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 it hasn't actually, to be honest. Right. It's been alright so far. Good. Do I feel lonely? Yeah. Mainly Sundays. It's always Sundays. Everyone always says that. Sundays, everyone feels really like, oh, that's the worst when you want a boyfriend. It's alright. And everyone else will snuggled up their boyfriends hungover. You're just there by yourself, like, yeah, just me, myself, and I. So, where are you going this year then? I'd like to go to Dubai. I had one of the best times ever there. Really? It's brilliant. Mm, yeah. Where are you going to go then? I'm going to Cancun in three months. Like, we're going for my parents' 25th wedding anniversary. Really? Yeah. That's cute. I think it's quite nice that he knew about places and where to go in that, because I'm quite like that. I like going to different places and adventuring. This year was my dad's 50th. We went to Cape Town. Yeah. In South Africa, best place I've ever been in the world. It's a very romantic place, actually. I said I would never go back unless I took a girl there. I went shark diving with great whites. Really? Yeah. Shit the bed. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I think we're really similar, actually, yeah. Like, we've got a lot in common. Obviously, Evan's a bit. A little bit. <laughs> wow, as if we just did that. But we said something exactly at the same time. <laughs> I love that. Like, you don't get that a lot, do you know what I mean? Anyway, anyway moving on. She's definitely eight, eight or nine pushing. Uh, she's, she's really attractive and got good banner. Definitely fancy though, yeah. Ready? Yeah. I hope she'd like me, you know, but it's one of them things you, you never know. What's going on with your shoelaces? I can't tie them properly. Would oh. you teach me? Do bunny ears, cross them over and in. Hey. Oh. I fancy her. She's a really good looking girl. But she's really funny as well, so it makes a difference, and you've you got to have someone to have a chat with. Do you want to go for a drink? Yeah, I'd definitely go on another date with her if she wants to. <laughs> Say it again. No, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> <laughs> This restaurant is very special. It's completely different from any other restaurant you have ever been to. Don't be naughty. I think it's so exciting that you could just get two random people, put them in a room, and there could just be a spark. two people that are right for each other, I think it can be magical. It can be a beautiful experience. Love is something you can't put your finger on. Love is special. I think people are lucky to be in love. The thing is, love can happen when you least expect it. That's what I always say. So be ready for it. Be open. It could happen to you. Bon. Au revoir. À bientôt.
to me.